In my video before my last one, I had talked about how this pandemic may end up bringing out some good things in our society when it comes to people looking past creed, sexual orientation, gender, race, that sort of thing, to come together for a common good. But there's so many things that are messed up that I'm seeing. Like even in some of my last few videos, there have been people leaving comments that are basically, and I'm seeing this other places too, they're basically saying that they actually look forward to a lot of baby boomers dying. I can't say I, I understand that. I, I, I understand that young people have been left with a world that is hard for them to navigate. You know, student debt is at an all-time high, and they're not even getting that good of an education with that debt. Jobs are not paying very good. There's confusion as to what you really need to be able to make a good living. People can't afford a lot of the things that a lot of baby boomers were always able to afford. There's the environment that a lot of the baby boomers don't seem to care that much about. But to actually have this almost a hatred of baby boomers is disconcerting, you know? And so I'm seeing an attitude of people saying, well, they don't care if the coronavirus uh, negatively affects older people, the elderly, far more than younger people. They're like, oh, let them die out. And I'm just like, what? So I'm seeing articles, I'll leave a link to this uh, Associated Press article that talks about a number of young people wanting to be virus rebels, so to speak. They're having essentially coronavirus parties where they're almost proud to spread it around. They're coughing on old people. And it's, it's going around in a lot of places in, in the world, particularly in, in the places that authority is saying that, hey, we need to do social distancing. I, saw, I even saw an article saying that there's a, there's a trend, I've seen a few articles saying there's a trend of teenagers recording themselves coughing on produce at grocery stores. What's going on here? You know, this is... Sometimes I wonder whether or not, and, and this is, it's surprising me for this coming out of my mouth, but sometimes I wonder whether or not some of these older standards for the way that people are supposed to behave were better than the, this fully open way that people are saying people should behave. So at least when people will rebel against standards, it's not hurting people. So it kind of seems that people are rebelling against being reasonable. And here's the part that just makes, me, it makes it hard to believe that it's coming out of my mouth, but it seems like when we used to have a lot more rules as to how people are supposed to carry themselves and conduct themselves and behave, that we were a better society. Sometimes we need more rules. Because at least when people were rebelling against a lot more of those types of rules, yeah, it wasn't hurting anyone. But now that things are so open and, every, and just about every type of behavior is now considered acceptable, when we actually do try to put some reasonable rules, people still rebel against it. I don't know, what do you think? <sighs>